University is located in Indian Country. There are 22 tribal nations in Arizona. ASU's campuses are situated on the homelands of many indigenous peoples, including the Akamel Atam and Peeposh. Arizona State University recognizes the original inhabitants of these lands and recognizes that they still reside throughout the Phoenix metropolitan area. And we recognize the impact of their wisdom and generosity towards us. If you've flown into the valley, you have undoubtedly seen the Salt River Project canals that surround the area. Those modern day canals follow the framework of the canals originally constructed by ancestral Sonoran desert people, who will come to make this area both livable and a place where peoples could thrive. We acknowledge that the modern day indigenous nations that descended from the ancestral peoples are the original inhabitants of this land. Welcome to Spring 2021 University Commencement and College Virtual Ceremonies for Arizona State University. We welcome our graduates, families, and guests as we celebrate the Class of 2021. The placing of the University Mace by Professor Seamine Levinson, President of the ASU Faculty Senate, signals the beginning of this official University Ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce the 16th president of Arizona State University, Michael M. Crow. Well, hard to believe, but here we are, commencement 2021. Exciting thing is that we're all here together in one form or another. We're very excited about being able to bring you the university graduation. In this format, we've got uh, 19,000 or so total graduating with us, but all of you also have the opportunity to be at your college or school uh, convocation. So we're very excited. That'll be more hybrid, uh, more, more personal, and more interactive. But nonetheless, here we are. Uh, we're in the middle of the global pandemic. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, rapid complexity, complexification of uh, all things. And yet, here we are. You've persevered. Your families have persevered. Uh, you've stuck with uh, all of the things now for more than a year. And I just want to say on behalf of the university faculty, students, staff, everybody that's a part of our community, congratulations to, uh, to all of you. It really is an unusual moment. It's one in which uh, we always, uh, uh, in, when we're together in a crowd, we uh, turn to our graduates and we ask them to uh, thank their families. So I hope that each of you will do that. Uh, uh, give them a hug, give them a kiss, tell them thank you, thank you for being there, thank you for supporting me, thank you for helping me through everything, thank you for helping me to understand that I needed to keep going and keep moving, <clears throat> and just thank you for uh, everything to get me here. We also ask that uh, all the teachers in our audience uh, stand and be recognized, the K-12 teachers, the community college uh, faculty, and we ask that our graduates thank uh, them, and as we thank and honor these teachers, that have brought you as graduates to us. We realize that we're a part of the process. We realize that we're a part of a continuum of learning, something that we call the universal learner co continuum. You go through your entire life. We believe that there's whole new ways to link learning together, so we just like to recognize all of the, all of the teachers. And then, and then there's our faculty. ASU has over 5,000 faculty members. Uh, this is a world-class research university. We've been involved in recreating how we teach, re recreating our learning environments, recreating and expanding and evolving our discovery and creativity environments. And so we found a way to construct a, a, a new kind of university, something we call a new American university. 
Our faculty are deeply committed to student success. Our faculty are deeply committed to community success. Our faculty are deeply committed to unbelievable demographic diversity in the student body. Uh, we work towards this. We, we've, we've greatly accelerated our graduation rates, the success of our students, the moving forward of our students. And so if we were together, I'd ask all of you to, to, to rise on our faculty so that our students that are graduating could recognize you. But I just want to take a special moment for the faculty that are watching this video to say just thank you. Uh, you've been unbelievably adaptive. You've been unbelievably creative. You have persevered. You have adapted to everything. And so, you know, we get we get some rocks thrown at us. You know, uh, how are you doing? And you know, why are we doing this? And why are we looking at everything on on Zoom technologies? And it's not as good as being physically present and so forth and so on. And so, it often isn't. But it often is, and in some cases, is even better. And so, what we found in this year. Uh, of 2020 and 2021, what we found is that we've learned. We've learned to be a better university. Our faculty have advanced. We've developed new t teaching and learning techniques. And given where we are and everything that we've been through, um, you know, I just want to say thank you to the faculty for all that you've been able to achieve. And I hope that each of you as students will reach out to the faculty that impacted you the most, to the faculty that had the deepest uh, uh, transformational effect on you, or the faculty member that really just got you going when you were down, and just say thank you. Just reach out. Just say thank you, because it really has been a, a difficult year for everyone. You know, this, this year, I hope uh, people have seen what we have done. You know, we've, we've kept the institution moving forward in the middle of the first global pandemic in over 100 years. Uh, we have done that in a moment in time where the greatest scientific progress in vaccine technology that humans have ever been able to uh, bring forward has been brought forth during this year. Now we're struggling to you know, make sure that we get it out to everyone, but nonetheless, the science has been uh, unbelievable. We found ways to use technology to stay connected, to keep everything moving. We found ways to be, to be generous with each other, to be generous with those that uh, lost their jobs, to, uh, to uh, help uh, businesses to stay open, to help families to stay intact. Uh, we at the university have done all that we could, uh, and we can always do more if you're aware of other people that have needs to help people to be able to graduate, to help them financially, to help them emotionally, to help them in every possible way. And so I just want to say that, you know, this has been a moment, I hope, of, galvaniz of galvanizing you, galvanizing your thinking, and uh, uh, realizing that you should take nothing for granted, nothing. Uh, the world is uh, uh, as we uh, make it, and the world is as we adapt to it. And so uh, I know different people have reacted to everything in different ways, and we should be respectful of all of those reactions. We should recognize that some have been anxious and some have not been anxious, and we should recognize that, that uh, what we really need to do here more than any other thing, and this is what I'm so proud of uh, relative to ASU, is coming together, working together. We have a thing at ASU that we call the community of care, and 99% of the people involved with the university, our students, our staff, our contractors, our faculty, everybody, have taken on a burden of caring about other people as much or more than you care about yourself. And then that means we've been able to manage our way through this pandemic uh, in, in very effective ways. I think uh, the class of 2021, and I say this to people all the time and they don't really believe me, I think our models about students and uh, the preparation of students, I mean, students are not on a learning curve where we're giving them an education and someday they may do something. Far from it. You know, we're living in a world now where everyone is empowered by technology. They're empowered by the internet. They're able to study across cultures. They're able to study across uh, complex subjects. They're able to double major and triple major. They're able to do things, build things. I mean, we had a group of students this year uh, that uh, won the uh, X Prize for masking technology against a thousand other teams. We had a group of students this year, including online students who uh, have been involved in the design and deployment of a mission that will go on the surface of the moon. That's a scientific experiment. Uh, we've got unbelievable talent and, uh, and energy in our student body. And it's not something like we're just working to prepare you. We're just working to help you to be able to get a job. I mean, far from it. That's not what we do. Our job is to empower you to be a master learner. Our job is to take you coming to us from whatever uh, background you come from, whatever family background you come from, whatever cultural background that you come from, and empower you to be a master learner to be capable of learning anything, adjusting to anything, teaming across different subjects, taking on complex issues of social change, complex issues of economic development and economic progress, taking on global climate change, taking on sustainability, taking on the development of new kinds of businesses, new kinds of musical enterprises, new kinds of artistic expression. What we're after is a way in which we are set to enable and empower you. And so I've been very, very uh, excited about watching that happen across all the dimensions of the university, our public service academy and the Watts College, 
uh, for public service and community solutions. Our undergraduate student body, our graduate students, I mean, they are problem solvers now. They are teachers and learners and discoverers now. Uh, we've got students involved in everything imaginable, and, and from my perspective, it's just, it's just fantastic. Uh, uh, if anything, the pandemic has driven up our commitment to um, social equity. It's driven up our commitment to uh, having a deep impact across our society. It's driven up the creativity of our faculty and our students, and for all of that, I am grateful. But in particular to you, you all have passed through a particular uni unique moment. You may not see it now. You may still be grumbling a bit about, you know, that you, you, you know, you're not at a all university graduation and you haven't been able to see some of your friends and there have been, you know, obviously families that have, had, have suffered tremendous losses and all these things, but you are here and you are here with us now and you are prepared as well as anyone that's ever been prepared in the history of our species to now move forward as a 21st century learner, as a 21st century creator, solving all these issues that we're facing, all these complexities that we're facing, and, and there's a number of them. And so I'm very confident that this is going to be something that you're going to be able to do. Arizona State University is an institution that is deeply committed to the combination of egalitarian access, academic excellence, and deep impact on our community. And I hope that has left each of you with a a little personal addition to your, to your uh, mental DNA. And that means then that you understand what egalitarian access means in the functioning uh, evolution of a democracy going forward, that you understand that we have to drive up educational attainment, that you understand that we have to make certain that our institutions to advance our democracy are not exclusive. We can't be keep keeping people out of things. We can't keep be keeping people from graduating from high school. We can't be keeping people from voting. We can't be keeping people from moving on into careers. We can't be keeping people from not being able to go to college and move forward with their lives. We can't be keeping people who didn't or weren't able to finish college from coming back and easily finishing college. And so it's all about finding a way to help the democracy to work. So if I have a, a single message for you, it really is this. So you've lived through a unique time. You have advanced during this unique time. You have a unique responsibility. And um, there's nothing to be discouraged about. Nothing at all. There is, in fact, just the opposite. This is a moment of uh, a carpe diem moment, a seize the day moment. This is a moment for you to take your experience, to take what you've been through during this pandemic, what your family has been through during this pandemic, to take what our society has been through during this pandemic, if your family hasn't been particularly affected, to take what you've learned here at ASU and move out and seize the day. Obviously, we need all kinds of great things moving forward. We have great opportunities moving forward, and I am totally 100% confident that the graduates of Arizona State University will leave marks going forward that will alter the trajectory for our country, alter the trajectory for our planet, and we'll all be better off because of you. So congratulations to the class of 2021 and carpe diem. We have one objective, to successfully enable those things that you dream about. To help you to be able to move through this phase of your life. Your success is our success. Empowerment is your success. We have no other reason for existence. We are here to help you. We are an institution measured on who we include versus who we exclude and how those students succeed.
spectacular fall night. And eventually, if we want to stabilize the CO2, just coming into our newsroom. Starting Monday, ASU is moving all of its in-person classes to online classes in order to protect students from the coronavirus. President Michael Crow announced this. I have a professor, uh, love her heart. Um, her name is Marsha and she's 73. And I did not think she was gonna be able to figure it out, but she isn't doing anything. Hello, I'm Dr. Joanne Vogel, Vice President of Student Services. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to welcome all of you to this outstanding celebration. Family and guests of the ASU graduates, we know you are proud of your student and the accomplishments they have achieved so far in their lives, and in particular, graduating from Arizona State University. Hi, Sun Devils. I am Dr. Sharon Smith, Associate Vice President for Student Services and the Dean of Students for Arizona State University Downtown Phoenix Campus. Hi Sun Devils, I am Dr. Lance Harrop, Dean of Students for Arizona State University Polytechnic Campus and Executive Director for Student Accessibility and Inclusive Learning Services. Hi Sun Devils, I am Dr. Cassandra Aska, Deputy Vice President for Student Services and the Dean of Students for Arizona State University Tempe Campus. Hello, Sun Devils. I am Dr. Kendra Hunter, Assistant Vice President for Student Services and the Dean of Students for Arizona State University West Campus. Congratulations to the Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander graduates. It is with joy and pride that we celebrate this monumental occasion alongside the family members, close friends, and entire communities who have worked tirelessly to see you complete your degree. At Arizona State University, we pride ourselves on ensuring that every student has the best possible university experience. We realize this goal by focusing on achievement, engagement, and responsibility, which we call the Sun Devil Way. We have excelled both in and out of the classroom. You have engaged and connected personally with the university and your fellow Sun Devils, and you have made responsible choices during your time at ASU. You are the author of your own Sun Devil story, and we are so proud of your journey to graduation. It has been our honor to support you in your efforts. 
It is our hope that you made new friends, learned quite a lot outside of the classroom, immersed yourself in ASU traditions, joined a few student organizations, and served your communities to make the world a better place. Your contributions to making our Sun Devil community stronger have not been overlooked. We'd like to say thank you again to the faculty, staff, and community members who play such an integral part in these students' lives and for continuing to support the accomplishments of Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander students at Arizona State University. Graduates, you are all ASU alumni now. As you move forward into the next phase of your life, I invite you to continue the mission with the ASU Alumni Association as a chapter leader or member. We stand ready to help as you move forward. ASU Alumni Association will give you an avenue to help those who come after you and a way to stay connected with ASU. We especially encourage you to connect with the association's special interest and academic chapters. With networks spanning across the United States and internationally, the ASU alumni chapters offer social and networking opportunities throughout the year and ways to stay involved with your alma mater. Congratulations again on all that you have accomplished. Good luck from all of us here at ASU. Go Devils! take this time to give a big shout out to all my friends and my family that supported me through all this and an even bigger shout out to my amazing mom and my incredible girlfriend. I love you guys. So I'd like to give my first thanks out to baby Alice. She's been my biggest inspiration. Even though she's just a dog, I do it all for her. Um, and then I'd also love to thank my gigantic family. Um, without all my siblings, I would have not gotten here even without my parents. And then a final thanks to my husband for always being my number one supporter, even when I wanna do some crazy things. Thank you, mom and dad, for all your love and support. Thank you, David, Karen, Richard, Liz. Special shout out to my wife, Deirdre, and our boy, Bao Bao, for our journey at ASU together. Today, there's another engineer in the family. And where will we go next? The sky's the limit. And I could not have done this without you all. Love you all so much. So I want to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me throughout my journey in college and of course to my brother as well. I also want to thank my partner all throughout college because we've gone through this together and we've learned everything together. So shout out to you. I want to thank you as well. Thank you mom and dad for helping me through school and teaching me the importance of being independent and the importance of education most of all. Um, I also want to say a big thank you to my granddad and my grandpa John. Um, unfortunately they aren't going to be around but uh, thank you guys for teaching me how to one enjoy life and also just being all overall great people as I've gone through this journey of my education, learning everything there is to be in, in air transportation and I miss you guys and I wish you guys were still here. Hello, my name is Ivana Quintaniza and I have just graduated with my Bachelor's of Science in Health Entrepreneurship and Innovation. I just wanted to thank my family for always believing in me and always being there for me um, when I wanted to cry and when I really thought that it was just impossible to obtain my Bachelor's just because I was working full time and going to school full time as well. I also want to thank my fiance for being there for me um, no matter what. And I also want to thank the Lord for giving me the strength, the perseverance, and also the, the faith and um, continuous, continuous hard work in um, obtaining my bachelor's of science. It was such a hard journey, but again, it, it was so worth it in the end. So again, I just wanted to thank my family, my fiance, and most especially the Lord um, for guiding me and for um, helping me achieve this great goal. Thank you, I love you all. Yeah, so I just wanted to thank my mom and dad. Uh, thank you for 
给我的支持和爱，这么多年了，六年在大学是肯定干不了的，所以我爱你们，呃，谢谢你们。然后呢，我知道我马上要去纽约了，但是呢，我永远不会离开家的，永远是你们的宝贝儿女儿。So thank you, mom and dad. Uh, thank you to my amazing partner, Kate Ortiz. Uh, to my best friends, uh, Ashley, She Little, and uh, Megami Sikowski. Uh, thank you for loving me and supporting me even at my lowest here. It's been a long six years at ASU, so um, I'm happy to finally graduate. Thank you to my family and everyone who supported me through my great university journey of ASU. It's been amazing four years. Go Forks, go Devil, we did it. Ayman Daniel bin Abdul Kair, Gabriella Nicole Acosta, Kim Alexis Adversario, Gaurav Ravindra Kumar Ainapur, Kaling Kristen Allen, Nicole Angelico. Vashon Michael Aurora Yashika Chandrasekhar Atarde Kristen J. Ayers Lahoma Bahe Jessica Balatin Balanon Brittany Ann Balserzak Joel Balasur Samhita Bangalor Nagesh Danielle Louise L. Baking Pratik Narhar Barhate Victoria Isabel Romana Baula Natasha Elizabeth Beard Maria Faye Casaklang Beck. Charlize Dene Bedford. Abazinia Bell. Florentino Beltran Sr. Simran Bakta. Matthew Leonard Cyril Bouchon. Melina Marisol Bustos. Montana Debbie Naneonalani Carter. Vanessa Lavon Carter. Jordan C. Sellis. Jordan Chamizo. Linfung Chen Sr. Chin Ya Chin Vivian Chen Wen Yi Chen Yu Rachel Chong Anand Zakesh Kumar Chatbar Brandon Chow Camille Diane Corpus. Christine Angela de Vera Costes. Calissa Chantalina Cruz. Sharad Dar. Dananje Shivkumar Darne. Frederica Tomokane Diaz. Shana T. Din Samil Dixit Alap Paragbai Doshi Lillian Foster Ashley Michelle Jimenez Fraser Ira Jimenez Galang 
Azmi Atul Gandhi. Nakul Gangwal. Susanna Garcia. Lakshya Garg. Brache Greenberg. Jinshu Gu. Julianne Hadfield. Jack Hamamoto. Chi Yu Hao. Daisy Hernandez. Roberta Dina Hernandez. Susan Sugi Hong. Gong Tet Ang. Ron Chiang Hu. Angelica Injajikian. Sharia Jaisingani. Avatar Vrajesh Kumar Jai Krishna. Saksham Jawar. Su Jung Jo. Mylika Nizoni Jan. Daoud Joseph. Kaustub Alhad Joshi. Sean Kapua Onalani Kahumoku. Mayank Kataruka. Abdul Owais Nurul Hake Kazi. Linda Serena Keo. Alexandra Veronica Merkad Kepler. Sagar Kar. Johanna Marie Klein. Rachel Marie Klein. Xing Kui. Omkar Satish Kulkarni. Kunal Kumar. Navneet Surjit Kumar. Puja Kupan. Justin Tex Kwok. Remy de Leon Lafayette. Christina Lam. Shalamai Kate Diamante La Rubis. Preeti Lather. Elizabeth Lau. Diana Isabel Postre La Villa. Caitlin Johnson Lazo. Athena Kim Mi Lee. Cynthia Lee. Kevin Truong Lee. Celine Elizabeth McCarthy Lilo. Danielle Elizabeth Lenhart. Amber Lee. Ben Ben Liang. La Lin. Amy Guo Ran Lil. Brandy Nicole C. K. Liu. Benjamin Lopez Jr. Lin Luong. Achut Madala Sitaram. Mitul Magu. Prerana Mahalanobis. Tamal Malik. Frenzel Aquino Marilet.
Raquel Ahivela Marino. Alex Matsukawa. Noriko Matsushita. Raquel A. Maziotti. Audrey F. Mendez. Daniela Nicole Mendoza. Sabina Gifty Minta Jacobs. Ikanch Mishra. Sidat Mishra. Erica Jane Molino. Christine Lee Moon. Devin Alexander Moldong. Chandan Yadav Nagaraja Gauda. Richa Jitendra Nagda. Susan Narong. Yisha Wen Eng. Jeff G. Ket Nguyen. Jenny Nguyen. Kenny Trin Nguyen. McFrank Vu Nguyen. Nu Quinn Nguyen. Anthony Michael Noibuakong. Michaela Nicole Niimi. Tani Lynn Niimi. Jason Namoko Nonat. Hiroaki Onishi. Christina Ortiz. Anugraha Pal. Arijit Panda. Krutiban Bharat Kumar Patel. Samyutka Bhat Pate. Dipti Paul. Mi Huin Trong Pham. Samson Fan. Jason Vuong Kuo Fung. Alyssa Cruz Pierce. Danelle Isabella Pimentel. Teresa Paul. Divya Polineni. Alrea Jasmine Molinao Pontanares. Akina Pricer. Utkash Sridhar Pujar. Rachel Perganen. Ivana Torres Quintanilla. Divya Rajesh Rashandani. Rashmi Rajiv. Brandy E. Ramaroy. Ricky D. Reese II. Francis Nicole Rendon. Irish Alexi Barbosa Rendon. Joshua Benjamin De Leon Reyes. Naomi Gabrielle Reyes. Cindy Marie Reynolds. Emily Marisa Rubio. Catherine Isabel Sakaguchi. Kira A. Sanford. Part Rajendra Sayani. Erickson Daniel Schaefer. Kiani Michael Shellhorn. Sinove Mentari Schmitz.
Kaylee Rose Sherpo. Shaylee Shah. Sukjeet Singh. Kaylin Smith. Christine Savanavan. Samyukta Sridhar. Tian Tian Su. Samantha Faith Samakad. Srinivasan Sundar. Dorenda S. Swinney. Jerry Tan. Adlar Z. Tao. Amruta Shamsundar Tapadia. Cassandra Petty Teo. Jerry Turn. Savani Makaran Thigali. Charles Samuel Thompson. Catherine Faith Toto. Summer Tui Tran. Kelly T. Trin. Nut Min Trin. Leoniva Hazel Tuala. Catherine Sarita Ueno. Kusuma Kumari Vanteru. Cassandra Vargas. Victor Isaiah Vasquez. Davina Vea. Umkar Sandeep Vedak. Satyan Verma. Angelina Renata Visara. Sumant Varma Vitrotu. Crystal H. Vo. Jimmy Win Vo. May Hong Vo. Trung N. Vo. Anna Vuong. Yu Shang Wang. Andrew Wasserbeck. Lian Jin White. Arkel Lewis Wingfield. Susanna Junyan Wang. Xiang Nan Shui. Hao Sen Yang. Kathy Yang. Amit Narayan Yashwan Trao. Rajab Ali A. Yazdani. Cody Wyatt Steve Yazzie. Ryan William Yu. Mariah Young. Amber G. Yu. Pushparaj Sin Rajendra Sin Zala. Chunxia Zhang. Mingshu Zhang. Meng Yao Zhao. Ronaldo Zuniga Hernandez.
congratulations to the class of 2021.